Hi, this is Mike of Neil Enough Dice, and you're watching the Kerbal Space Program. This is Asteroid Intercept 2. Asteroid Intercept 2 uh, has a maneuver node which is going to hopefully get it into contact with the target asteroid as so. Um, of course, now I'm not quite as sure as I was because um, I've now um, had the I've, um, it, asteroid intercept one actually managed to do the intercept, which is great and all. You know, I'm not objecting. Um, but I was I was extremely surprised when that happened. Um, ooh. What's the separation if I do that? Uh, yeah, so it turns because I, I, I was absolutely certain that I was that I that that um, creating that, that my first my first intercept was not going to happen. Um, therefore, I absolutely one hundred percent needed to uh, have that you know this backup. Um, and it's it's looking like no no I, I didn't need that at all. Which is kind of interesting. 146 kilometers. Um, so you know, do I do I really need to do anything with this one at all? Um, especially seeing as four hours after this lifts off. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Just trying to work out. <laughs> Just trying to work out whether this will, in fact, intercept. Um, well, the thing is, it's going to intercept. It's probably going to intercept slightly after the the. It looks like it's going to. It's going to hit slightly after the apoapsis. Uh, oh, sorry, the the periapsis. My apologies. Um, so. Ooh. That would mean delaying uh, when I bring it into orbit, because uh, I, li I like the idea of the two of them kind of attaching. I, I really do like that idea. Um, but you know, I, yeah, I like the idea of, them, of getting both of them to meet up. Right, that fails. That does not do what I want it to do. Looks like I had it before, to be perfectly honest. That gets me a pretty close intercept. Um, probably close enough. Um, <clears throat> but the question is, Where is where is the asteroid going to be at that point? Given that I should have uh, done my my stopping maneuver at that point, but I could just delay the stopping maneuver because I know I've got a lot of delta V left. Could wait until asteroid intercept two does its intercept, um, and then basically what the reason I want to do that is I can then give all of Asteroid Incept 2's fuel to Asteroid Incept 1 
giving me a great many more options what to do with the asteroid once I get it into orbit. So I think I think we are going to do that. I think I think I think we're going to go for it. Uh, oh, it is it has gone out of the sunlight. In the time when I was talking and thinking, excuse me. It's dropped out of sunlight. Um, and looks like it's maneuver. Oh, it, it, it's it's going to get there eventually. It's going to take a little while to, to get there. Um, actually, do I want to drop this back end? I think I do. Because it's 736 delta V to get there. This back end only has 213. So I think that back end isn't, isn't doing me any good at all. Um, it's not got enough liquid fuel in it to actually help. I would have to transfer so much from here. And this is a, a lower ISP engine, I suspect, than this one. Well, it's got a specific impulse of zero because it's currently not active. So we'll let that get on with it. Well, actually, the other thing is if I ditch the back end now, this front end is going to be much more maneuverable. Yeah. And I've got three thousand delta V in, in in this one. Which isn't it isn't using oh so it's gonna need seven hundred and sixty eight. Admittedly it's gonna need some at the other end to close, but there we go. So let us just now, oh, oh right, I think I'm going to want to swap to, to this. Oh, I don't want to set that as a target. I want to set that as a, go back to set that as a target. I want to switch to this one. And then go back to map mode. Should rename that, like, you know. Sort of the because I've done the the scan sat's done. I mean, it's, it's not doing anything useful anymore, really. Um, I've just realised something. I was changing because I was changing around the um, where when exactly the. I need to I need to re I need to redo this alarm because I was changing when I was the actual um, alarm was going to go, not the alarm the actual maneuver note. Um, anyway, so I've I've done that so that's cool. Swap back here. Go to map mode as soon as. Kevin, fast forward many times. Oh, there we go. Begin to slow down. So it'll give me the opportunity to switch over, which is what I need. Oof, jump to ship. Uh, 
complete on close close alarm right so we've got uh, slightly under a minute for it to point back to its maneuver now because obviously lost it oh it's not pointing at the maneuver nodes now will we Yep, that's all fine, everything's brilliant. See this, uh, yeah, well I was I was going, when I did my EVE mission last episode, uh, I continually complained about not having a good core in there, which would now enable me to um, use SAS to stick to maneuver nodes. This is why, because you can just do that. Worryingly, well, it was, for a moment it looked kind of like, am I going to be aiming directly at the planet? But no, I'm not. That would possibly cause me problems if I was to do that. Right, how are we doing for time? So just, uh, just over 20 seconds. I'll do a very small... Very small. Um, time warp. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Don't need precise note up just now. Oh, that's slightly not as good as I wanted. So yeah, that's going to take about a minute. Um, so I'm going to get out there and I'm going to start doing some maneuverings. I don't know what that maneuver is. Don't think that applies anymore. Whatever, whatever I was doing, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm not using that one anymore. Uh, oh no, that must be the. I'm pretty sure that's the maneuver for the um, asteroid intercept one. I think that's what that must be. So that's drifted apart rather more than I would like. 413 kilometers. I can probably deal with it. Um, that's mildly aggravating. Possibly I did it when I, um, I it's a, not beyond the run possibility that the extra delta V I got, or the change in my orbit I got from ejecting the back end was enough to um, jolt it enough. But we will see, I guess. One of the slightly aggravating things is that the what the the conics are going to show this flight path. It's only going to show me it's it's showing me what is going to happen according to um, the maneuver node I've currently got, and so it will not show me what encounter I might be able to get. Um, if I just stopped my burn right now. So uh, there'll probably come a point where I'm going to get close and then get rid of the maneuver node uh, because it's going to stop being useful in terms of telling me if I'm going to get a, a better encounter or not. Looks like my uh, orbital phase has drifted, so... Yeah. 
that is possibly something I should have taken again into account because I put these things up these the astro intercept I put them up really quite early and then had them in orbit for quite a while and there was almost certainly got there I mean there was going to be drift so that was the thing I should have really been thinking about and taking taking into account right so four three two one right so I'm gonna keep going ooh Right, we're going to stick with that. 58 kilometers. That's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, now, let's quickly check. That's within an hour. That's five hours. I want to go this way. Walk to there. So I should be seeing there. There's, there's our target. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. Um, I'm just going to ignore that maneuver completely. So I'm just going to get rid of that alarm. I don't care about that alarm anymore. there go to target mode now point retrograde well I tell it's once it stopped time warping anyway so I need to kill uh, 676 kilometers Although I might do some experimentation to see if I can get a better intercept. Mm, time warping's taking forever. So I got to about thirty kilometers. Just fiddling with the forty two twenty seven, that's pretty good. Ooh twenty two twenty six, so go back one. That seems like a thing to do. Not going to be a very long burn, but it's going to get me quite a lot closer. Okay, 
come on, you can do it, you can get there, you can get there. You can actually see how close um, the rush grade and the target markers are. So I'm mm, getting pretty close to, to being right on top. Right, I'm going to do this maneuver, and then I think I'm going to call it because this has been a this has been 20 minutes. Um, time to node burn. Come on, it's just taking a little time to settle. Uh, so I think I'm going to do the actual approach next episode. Then I'm well, possibly depending on on what happens, possibly then in that episode, do the rest of this. Um, give me a 1.2 second burn. So, 9, 8, 7, 6. This is where my computer being slow helps. 5. I'll we'll get more time. 4, 3, 2, one go because I rather suspect that was um, that'll do me 22 kilometers so basically what I want to do now is point retrograde And then uh, just start the approach procedure. So anyway, next, that's the next episode. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. Find Neil F. Dice at neilfdice.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. And until next time, reach for the stars.